Hello everyone. Welcome back. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been a few months <laughs> since I've last uploaded a video. And yes, I do still work a full-time job. I work five days a week. On top of that, I babysit three to four times a week. And then in between all that, I'm running errands or catching up on sleep. That's my life lately. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading videos frequently and I'm still here. I just haven't had the energy or time to really sit down and film videos for you guys. Except for today because I actually had time in the morning because I had to wake up early to go to a mandatory training. I actually went to Blick afterwards, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. A uh, very impromptu haul. I know it's been a long time since I've done one, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's go with a big thing. Um, this one I didn't plan on getting, as with most of the things in this <laughs> in this bag. Um, but I really needed this. I actually thought about buying a new one because, yeah. So I got this new lamp. It's called Alt Light. See clearly and comfortably. And this one is supposed to give off like a more natural light. So it's good for when I'm painting at night and everything's just going to be true to color and just clear so yeah let's see how this goes um i just bought this impulsively so hopefully it's good <laughs> um so yeah so it says shows colors accurately uh, energy efficient and earth friendly which is always a good thing right um see fine print and details clearly so yeah let's see i'm gonna test it out later um Oh, and I got a bunch of paper. I love paper. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Okay. Oh, sorry. Hopefully that wasn't loud. So, first of all, I got my usual watercolor paper. I've been using this for a couple years now. It's by Arsh. I got the hot pressed, 300 grams, 140 pounds. Um, I had got it in two different sizes. So this one is the 9 by 12 and then this is the 10 by 14. So yeah, bought these two. And then I got this new one. I've never heard of this brand before. I think it's called Legion. Legion, we are paper. Uh, this is a Stonehenge white. So they had different sizes and they had different types of paper. I kind of read through the list and I thought that this one I would have fun with. Um, so I was just touching the paper and the paper quality looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I got a dirty one. Anyway, yeah, this one, if you guys know me, I don't care for like cold pressed paper or anything with like a really rough texture. I love the smooth like white paper and this one does it for me. Uh, so it says it's good for, what is this? All drawing techniques, especially colored pencil. Um, so I'm gonna play around with this one with colored pencil. I got this small pad because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not because it's my first time trying it. And, what was that? <laughs> that was a weird and. And I got a new bullet journal. Are you guys surprised that it's semi-colored? Um, because I usually gravitate towards like a black, white, or gray sketchbook or notebook. But I have a thing for royal blue. I love royal blue. I'm almost sort of kind of done <laughs> with my current bullet journal. Um, there's a few pages left, like maybe this much left, I don't even know. But um, I thought I would just go ahead and buy a new one for the new year. I know there's like a few months left of 2018, but you never know. 
Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really digging this color. So I'm excited to fill this one out. Okay, so that's all the paper, I think. Yep. So I got one tube of paint. It's the Windsor & Newton Designers Gouache. This one is the one I've been using for a while. Um, but I'm running out of the permanent white, so I thought I'd buy a bigger tube because your girl goes through this uh, like toothpaste. I don't know. But yeah, I go through it quite fast. Um, I actually haven't been using gouache for a few months now, but I'm actually going to be using it more um, in the coming months. So yeah, got the gouache. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I also got an eraser. I've never tried this one before. It says dust free, which I'm excited to see or not see. Um, so it's a Faber Castell dust free, clean and soft erasing. And then I got two different jars one glass one and one plastic one. So the plastic one with the lid, I will be using for like outdoor sketching or traveling, which honestly, when am I ever going to be doing that as of late? <laughs> I don't even know when I'm going to be going out sketching because I haven't done so in like a couple months. Well, I mean, yeah. I guess whenever I just decide to go to like a coffee shop, which I haven't done in, in a couple months. But if I ever do, this is gonna be here. So yeah, and then this one is just for my studio. And then I got some artist tape because I ran out. Um, and this one is a nice color blue, sky blue. So can you tell me why artist tape is expensive? I don't even know. But this better be worth it because ten dollars, you're crazy. But anyway, so the last thing I purchased, which was really random, um, but the one thing I love about Blake is that they have a lot of like cute stationary things and just cute novelty like gift stuff. I'm all for it. And I can spend hours looking at them and I decided to buy a new coffee mug with some cute, cute doodles of cats. And I think they're all just cats. I thought they were dogs too, but no, they're all cats. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm going to be using it after this because I'm going to make myself some coffee. So... I'm excited. But yeah, so I probably won't be super frequent on here, but I'm gonna try and find out a flow that works best for me. I keep saying that, but for real though. You know, I've noticed this pattern with my content. I've noticed that every time summer ends and fall comes along, there's this whole transitional phase and I always end up wanting to change my content. And that's where I am right now. I don't just want to be uploading like speed painting videos and stuff like that. Like I want my channel to be true to who I am and the things that I am currently going through and the things that I love. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to start all that because I feel like the perfectionist in me is coming back. I like think about new ideas and then I don't end up doing it because I want it to be perfect. Please be patient and I'm just so thankful to those of you who are just so supportive and have been there since day one, since I started my YouTube, which was back in 2014. Um, I know I haven't been consistent and I hope to change that in the future, but right now I'm still trying to figure things out and just take care of myself especially my mental health. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye. By the way, I don't think I showed you guys, but look at my wall. It's full of 
I was going to say stars, it's full of triangles. Wow. And it's like a wave of triangles. That's my backdrop. Anyway, that's that.